Hey, what's up, everybody? So the Atlanta Hawks, they have a very nice young team. And I feel like they have the best young team besides the Bulls and the Pelicans. And I'm going to talk about what to expect from this young team that's trying to get themselves back on their feet. So before we get into the video, I just want to say, if you're new to the channel, thanks for giving me a chance. If you like the video and you like the content, make sure you click the subscribe button at the end to see more basketball content and football content as well. So now let's actually get back into the video. So I feel like it's best to say that the Hawks hit their peak in a 2014-2015 season where they were 60 and 22. They a whole starting five made the All-Star game for the fuck of it, but they went on to get swept by my Cavs in the third round of the playoffs that year. Now the Hawks did try to run it back in the 2015-2016 season, but they fell short again this time in the second round. So this is where things really began to go downhill. The Hawks, they traded Jeff Teague in a three-team trade, and they received the number 12 pick from the Hawks, I mean, not the Hawks, the Utah Jazz, in return. So the ultimate goal was to promote young Dennis Schroeder, who showed potential off the bench, as the starter. Then they were supposed to trade the 12th pick and the 21st pick to help create cast space for Al Horford and Kent Bazeman. So I don't know if they just couldn't get the trade off or Al Horford just told them what's up, but Al Horford obviously had other plans and he decided to leave anyway and went to Boston. But they did keep Kent Bazemore and the two picks. So the number 12 pick ended up being Torian Prince and he's pretty much a good role player for the Hawks. Long story short, he's not even there no more. And then the 21st pick ended up being DeAndre Banbury, who I don't know who he is, but he suck on 2K, so I'ma just say he trash. But with Schroeder, Millsap, Corver, and Dwight Howard as the core, the team made the playoffs once again in 2016-2017 season. But this time, they got the early end. So Paul Millsap, he said, forget all shenanigans and the BS, I'm out. He packed his bags, he went to Denver. Dwight Howard and Corver got traded, Things obviously was going left. The only positive from the offseason was drafting John Collins to pair with Dennis Schroeder, but that did not even work out. The 2017-2018 season was just terrible. They only won 24 games, and they will go on to trade Dennis Schroeder in the offseason. You know, I wouldn't even say they traded Dennis Schroeder. They gave that man to OKC, but they did end up drafting Trey Young and my boy Red Hot. Red Hot is Kevin Huter. You should know why I call him Red Hot. But even though the Hawks missed the playoffs again, they found their franchise player at the end of the day, Trey Young. Trey Young, he proved all the doubters wrong. He was a great scorer, especially in that second half of the season. He really went crazy, you feel me? And along with the skill set and what he has to offer the team, the dude is a good leader. These are the type of players you want to be your franchise player. And along with that, they also learned that John Collins will be legit in this league. And I think one day he'll be an all-star. And I promise you, if John Collins was healthy in the beginning of the season, they probably would have won about 35 games. I, I say that's their ceiling, if not better than that. But going into the 2019 draft, they did hold the fourth pick and the 10th pick. They ended up picking DeAndre Hunter and then Cam Reddish. So DeAndre Hunter, he's pretty much a versatile small forward. He's 6'7". He can defend the post. He can defend the, um, the, the perimeter. He can score. He can shoot a three. He can slash. He can shoot the mid-range. He can score in the um, post a little bit too. So they're definitely getting a versatile player. And if he translates to the NBA, that's definitely going to boost up their team. And he could probably be the third piece to their little, you know, their little click. Then Cam Reddish at number 10, that's a good pick for number 10 because Cam Reddish, he's pretty much played in shadows his whole career. He's an athletic shooting guard slash small forward that can shoot with range. He created his own shot. He can play defense. He can play the one through three. Cam Reddish is an interesting prospect. The only thing about Cam Reddish is that he has to be consistent with his talents. Other than that, he's not going to be that good. Now, now will Cam Reddish be trash? No. I think he could be like a 3 and D player at the worst, but they picking Cam Reddish, hoping he'll be good things and be a steal in the draft. Now, along with their draft picks, free agency did do them some justice. They got Chandler Parsons, um, well, not even just free agency, but trades as well. They got Chandler Parsons, Jabari Parker, Evan Turner, Allen Crabb, and Damian Jones. Now, I like the addition of Jabari Parker in free agency because Jabari Parker, he's a former number two overall pick. 
He's been, you know, battling injuries his whole career. Um, he was pretty much healthy last year, though, but he had a decline. But I think he could pick that up. And since he's going to be coming off the bench in Atlanta, he's for sure going to impact the game off the bench. Then Allen Crabb. Allen Crabb, I think that if he can carve out a role and be consistent as a shooter, they'll probably be interested in re-signing him for cheap because he's finessing right now. And Evan Turner and Chandler Parsons, they won't be there for long. They really just there because they was doing the other team a favor. But other than that, I think this team has the potential to grow together in the next few years, along with the future potential um, additions, and they will soon be back in the playoffs. Like I said, all it takes is growing and coaching. I really like these additions, and I don't want to overhype the Hawks, but I think they can at least push for about 35 to 40 wins next season with this squad. I'm just being realistic with y'all. But let me know what y'all think in the comment section about these Hawks. Do you think they really, you know, the third best young team in the league, or am I tripping? Let me know everything. Like, comment, subscribe. I got more content coming soon.